So here we go again. I'm sending an air tech to my hometown in Germany. And we start by putting it into an envelope, putting the customs forms on it, and getting it all signed and sealed by the post office, pretending that it's all done outside, and then dropping it into the letter box outside. And I'm doing the usual. <coughs> following the air tag around Darwin. Here you see it at the post office in Vickers Street. Now it's been collected by the truck. And I followed around Darwin. It was interesting to see which places the truck goes to to collect mail. And it ended up in the post office uh, just behind my office. And from there it went to the GAN. You see that there. It was loaded into a container and then shipped to Adelaide. I got one ping on the way, and um, that was it, you know. And then it was unloaded in Adelaide, put in the truck, and then I followed it around Adelaide for a while. It went to quite a few places, and then I realized it is uh, trucked to Melbourne. That's quite the uh, distance when you think about it, it's like everything else here in Australia, nothing is close. So I followed it on the southeastern freeway, all the truck stops and all the places. It was really interesting to see which way these guys um, traveling and uh, what they do on the way. I must say that um, learning about the infrastructure the post office has is quite interesting. There's so many things that um, they do that it's sort of unexpected. By the way, talking about unexpected, this time the route this air tech took freaked me out. It was just unbelievable. I could not sort of fathom it, what was going on. But anyhow, we got there. It was all done. And now we're getting into Victoria, and then in um, Melbourne, it went to the mail distribution center, probably got put in another container, and now it's on its way to Sydney. The Hume Highway is the best thing that ever came out of Melbourne. I think I mentioned that before. I hope I will get no hate mail from Melburnians, but anyhow, that was... A long story, when I started working in Australia, I worked for a company where the head office was in Melbourne, and Sydney branch was bigger than all other branches together, so there was a lot of bickering going on, and it was hilarious. And we see the usual thing. It went to the customs post office and then to the airport, and now I'm sort of getting a bit confused because it went to Asiana Cargo. I've never seen that before. And then it went to that part of the International Airport, and it looked like Gate 56. I could not figure it out where it was going. It just made, didn't make any sense. And then I got a ping, and the next ping I got was the Toronto Airport. And then I could figure out which way it took. It went with Air Canada to Toronto. I, I just, what? <laughs> What the hell is going on? That was so unusual. Anyhow, what the heck? So from Toronto, it went to Frankfurt. And in Frankfurt, it did this usual thing. It went to the mail distribution center and then put in the truck and truck to Kiel on the autobahn. And in Kiel, it uh, went to the first and then the second uh, mailing center, and then it was delivered to that friend of mine who lives in Kiel. And then he took it around a little bit to show me where he's all going because he is a glider pilot and uh, went to a few places. Here we see a shopping center, and then he did something for me. In the 60s, I lived in Kiel in the Austrian number 170. And he took the air tech there and took two pictures. Where that arrow is, that was my room. 
And that was a building with a bus stop right in front of it. And where the arrow is that, that was our living room window. Yeah, thank you very much for that. That was a nice thing to see. And then he took it around a bit more. <laughs> yeah, you see uh, one of these big wind generators. And there you see the gliders parked at the little makeshift airport. Yeah, so he took it around a bit, and uh, now we need to send it back on somewhere else. It's done its time in Kiel, so I think it's time to carry on. See you later.